Hello. So here's another video on uh, moral development. And um, in this video, uh, we mentioned Kohlberg and his theory of moral development and the three sort of stages that uh, people go through in developing their moral reasoning, according to this guy named Kohlberg. Um, now, it's related to Piaget's stages of cognitive development because kind of your the, the level of cognitive thinking you're able to engage in is going to be related to your your level of moral reasoning, right? Especially in the last stage uh, of Kohlberg's theory here. So, so Kohlberg does, does believe that moral reasoning develops in a, a universal sequence. So we start at the lower level, move up to the, to the highest level, according to him. And that's, that's also a similar way Piaget talked about cognitive development, that it's a Everybody goes through the same sequence of cognitive ability development, according to Piaget. And so Kohlberg has three, I guess the label is three levels of moral thinking that we go through in our development, right, of moral reasoning. So the, these are stages are pretty easy to remember, pre-conventional level, conventional level, and post-conventional level. So that's not too hard. Uh, pre-conventional morality, the lowest stage, once again, before, before the age of nine, Right, so children mostly here. Uh, the idea here in the pre-conventional morality is that the individual is pretty; their moral reasoning is pretty much tied to their self-interest. All right, so uh, it, it, it's good or bad depending on the consequences for me. Right, that's pre-conventional morality according to Kohlberg. Um, so. Here, I think of the uh, quintessential pre-conventional level of morality child being Cartman in South Park. <laughs> right, Cartman? If you get away with it, it's good. All right? so, so he does all this you know, terrible stuff, and as long as he doesn't get caught and isn't punished, it was good to do. It was okay to do. Right? Yeah, that's Cartman. Right? And, and yeah, <laughs> you know, children, children think that way. Uh, you know, I mean, if they, if they get caught, oh, I'm so sorry, I shouldn't have done it. But if they don't get caught, it's okay, right? Uh, so pre-conventional <laughs> morality, right? Um, and then you got conventional morality. So that's the second stage. So early adolescence, around early adolescence, I guess he says this is happening. And here, morality is tied to um, you know one of a couple of things. Uh, so morality in the conventional, at the conventional level, is tied up to perhaps, uh, you know, following the laws and the rules, uphold the laws and the rules. Also, though, it can be based on social expectations. Uh, this idea of what others would approve of me doing, right? What others would want me to do is also a, a conventional level morality, right? So if it's against the law, don't do it. That's against the law. Don't do it. That you know, you know, laws and rules. You have to obey those things. That would be an, one example of conventional morality. Another example would be, well, my friends expected me to do it, so that's why I did it. That that would also be this level of conventional morality, according to Colbert. And then lastly, uh, is the post-conventional level, and that's in adolescence and beyond. Of course, just because you reach this level doesn't mean you're always going to think this way for the rest of your life. You, you can still fall to those other levels, right? Um, but anyway, uh, post-conventional morality, at this point you have to be capable of abstract thought. So you would have to be at formal operations, according in, in Piaget's stage of cognitive development, before you could have pre-conventional morality, right? So uh, pre-conventional morality is where basically morality uh, is, is based on more abstract principles, right? So, so you have more abstract ethical principles that you follow, such as you know human rights. Um, you know, I'd, I'd put the whole probably you know civil rights movement uh, at this post-conventional level of morality, right? So, so yeah, you had laws of segregation in the South, right? But people broke those laws, protested and broke those laws because there was a, a higher morality basic human rights and, and human freedom and equality. That, that's more abstract, right? That would be this post-conventional 
level of morality. Um, and uh, the way Kohlberg um, kind of tested this is he, he would give children of different ages, right, um, um, moral, what's the word I'm looking for here, Mo moral conundrums or, or, or situations, a story, and ask the children to say, what should this person in the story do? More important than what they said the person should do is their reasoning behind why they said the person should do that. So it's the reasoning behind that he's getting at here in these stages, right? So a, the Heinz dilemma is one of these classic ones that's talked about. The Heinz dilemma, uh, you have uh, a husband whose wife has uh, has been you know diagnosed with a, a terrible illness, and uh, basically if she does not get this new drug, uh, she's going to die. Now the pharmacist in the town where the, this couple lives had developed this brand new drug that would save her, it would save her life, but the pharmacist wants you know a you know a certain amount of money before he'll give him the drug. Now the man does not have the money for the drug can't get the money for the drug. He's tried to work something out with pharmacists and it just, it just won't go. You just don't have the money to pay for it that the pharmacist wants. So what should this man, what should the husband do? Right? Uh, and that's the question. And so should he steal the drug or not? Is the question. And then, of course, the most important thing is the reasoning behind that, right? So pre-conventional morality would be based, I mean, once again, they could say, yes, he should, or yes, he shouldn't, but it's the reasoning behind it that's important. So, yes, he should steal the drug because he'll save his wife and he'll be a hero, right? That, that's based on the personal self-interest of the husband there, right? So, that, it's that that would make it pre-conventional morality, right? Conventional level, you know, uh, no, he shouldn't because that would be against the law. Or, also another example of conventional morale, yes, he should, because that's what his wife and friends would expect him to do, right? You know, once again, social approval. Uh, Post-conventional morality, yes, he should steal the drug. It's the reasoning that makes it, though. Yes, he should steal the drug because human life is more important than profit, right? So those would be examples of, of, of the Heinz dilemma, the solutions, but more importantly, the reasoning behind the solution that makes it one of these levels of morality. All right, uh, so that's it uh, for that. Bye for now.